The following is a paid presentation for attacking anxiety and depression. My doctor eventually just said, I, I don't know what else I can do um, for what we're doing. And that really floored me. I was angry because he, I couldn't help me, and then he couldn't help me. Where was I to go? When my anxiety was at its worst, uh, my main fear was that all the work that I had done in my life up to this point was worthless, almost as if the anxiety was a thief and bottled up all your talents and all your energy and wouldn't let you release it. I thought I had gone crazy. I thought it was schizophrenia. Even though I knew what schizophrenia was, I had no symptoms of schizophrenia. I thought for sure that was the road I was going. Even 10 miles was a difficult distance for me to drive. My parents lived about 30 miles away, so there was about a year that I didn't even go and see them. Like I was very dependent on my mom. I felt I was losing control. I'd never heard anything about this before. I've been pretty ill for probably five years. Really, really scared. Worried that I wasn't gonna get any better. There was no answer anywhere. The only answer I got was through Lucinda and Anxiety and depression are the leading emotional problems in our country today. An estimated one out of five Americans have suffered or will suffer from some form of anxiety or depression disorder. Some of the most commonly written prescriptions are for anti-anxiety and antidepressant medications. Many experts believe anxiety and depression to be primary causes of alcohol abuse. Do you know what it's like to obsess about your health? Do you know what it's like to sit on a turbulent flight and be filled with fear? Do you know how painful it feels to worry constantly? Have you ever felt so helpless and hopeless you found it difficult just to muster up the energy to do the simplest of things? Do you know how it feels to constantly beat yourself up for not being good enough? Do you know the feelings of embarrassment and guilt that come from explosive anger? Well, I do. I'm Lucinda Bassett, the president of the Midwest Center for Stress and Anxiety, and these were some of the things I experienced when I suffered with anxiety and depression. I was not able to breathe. I felt very uncomfortable. Um, I would notice my heart rate would always go up. I didn't know that it was because of my anxiety. I just, I didn't know. I really didn't know. I was in, I was in the dark. I had always thought, well, I'm, I'm not, gonna, I'm never going to be responsible. I'm never going to be secure. I'll always worry. I'll be one of these people that always does that. It was like another person. I just, I didn't, I didn't know what was happening. I started having more frequent panic attacks and started avoiding elevators and then planes and public transportation. For many years I appeared to be somebody who had a lot of things going for them. Uh, health, youth, uh, good education, uh, good career. And so it's why I never really understood why I felt so bad all the time. We went from doctor to doctor. She was um, glued to my side for three or four months. Um, she was unable to go to school, unable to function, couldn't be in public places. I've suffered with anxiety, um, generalized anxiety for maybe 10 years or so. Always doubting myself, always questioning everything I did. Nothing was ever good enough. I was always waiting for the next disaster to happen. I knew there was something. I didn't know exactly what it was either. And, and she at times would say, you know, you, you don't understand and you don't understand. And uh, it, it, it would get frustrating. I, I can't explain the feeling of relief and hope that came over me when I saw the program. I knew, I knew that I wasn't crazy. I knew that there was help. These people were talking and you could tell they were talking from their hearts. This wasn't, I'm such a, I was such a cynical person, you know, this isn't just a quack thing and a, a something to, to a money-making scheme. You know, these people, how could they know my feelings? There's something to this. This is the program. to worry about the disaster that's looming around the corner, and we do, my yeah. God. thank God. The Midwest Center is dedicated to helping those with anxiety and depression. It was founded by Lucinda Bassett and Dr. Philip Fisher. Lucinda is a trainer of trainers for the American Medical Association. She has shared her techniques with McDonald's Corporation, AT&T, Ford Motor Company, the Ladies Professional Golfers Association, and others. She has appeared on hundreds of radio and television programs, including Oprah, Montel, The View, and Regis. 
Her work has been featured in many newspapers and magazines, such as Health, the Journal of Clinical Psychology, Cosmopolitan, Family Circle, and many more. Anxiety and depression are two of the principal reasons people miss work, go to the doctor, abuse alcohol, and take prescription medications. They're also two of the main reasons people don't reach their full potential, can't enjoy their success, why they don't have healthy relationships, and can't achieve peace of mind. So how about you? Are you really living your life fully? Or are you consumed with worry and fear, waiting for the next disaster to strike, hoping that eventually things will calm down, that you'll calm down? If you're challenged by more severe anxiety, such as panic attacks, phobias, obsessive compulsive disorder, or if you're simply dealing with constant worry and out of control anger, this program, Attacking Anxiety and Depression, can change your life forever. For a long time, I had real, very low self-esteem and, and real, really a lot of insecurities. I was using food to, to, to calm myself down. I used to weigh 289, almost 290 pounds. I wore sweat clothes all the time. I felt really horrible. I thought of this as I was of no use to anybody. When tangible things start to happen to you, like to go to school, get good grades, uh, you know, someone hires you for a job, my boss will lost 50 pounds. You can't just say, oh, I guess I got kind of lucky. It's like, no, you actually went out and, and did the work for those things. And I got that through Lucinda. When anxious people come into my office, the symptoms they complain of are related directly to their anxiety. However, they don't realize this and assume they're shortness of breath, sweating, dizziness, rapid heart rate, and upset stomach are physical problems. In fact, they're due to their anxiety. I wasn't feeling well because my heart was going very fast, and then that night it just went extremely fast where it, I palpitated, couldn't breathe. I said, okay, it's, I'm going to the ER. They couldn't find anything wrong, and I was told that it was anxiety. My anxiety got so bad um, that I became agoraphobic. I actually became um, housebound for about, I would say, six months or so, and um, it felt like I lost all my independence. Um, I had to count on other people to do things for me. I felt I was missing things. Everything was passing me by. Uh, the world was passing me by. My kids, I, I couldn't do things with them. I, Mom, let's go here. You want to go to the mall? Normal things. Want to go to lunch? I just was like, I'm not, I really don't want to. And I gave excuses. And that made me angry and sad that I couldn't even control that. I'm uh, 27 years old, and uh, I'm a writer and a producer, uh, a career that, uh, uh, at least so far, has been uh, very rewarding. But for so many years, despite what outwardly uh, people would call success and, and, and what people would call uh, well-being, I didn't have it. There was uh, fear of irrational things that I didn't want to have, but I couldn't get it out of my head. Uh, fear of sickness, uh, sometimes even a fear of death and, and, and illness when I had no illnesses. There was just a lot of anxiety about um, being in a strange environment, uh, going to a conference room and not knowing where the nearest bathroom is. I'm a scientist that works in air pollution control. During my master's program, I was I was stressed. I was in a field where there were very few women, and I was beginning to experience anxiety, some of which I'd had younger, and it was intensifying. So we went from med medication to medication, and my doctor eventually just said, I, I don't know what else I can do um, but what we're doing, and that really floored me. When I saw the infomercial, I was at my lowest low. I looked at it and I, I saw me. If there's somebody out there that thinks and hears a doctor say, there's nothing I can do. We've done it all. Walk away because it's wrong. The program lets you be who you are. It doesn't so much change you as it gets rid of all the negative worries, the irrational uh, nonsensical things that have been in your mind that prevented you from being who you are. I remember the night like it was yesterday and I couldn't sleep and I turned the TV on and I turned the channel and I heard this woman or man, I don't remember, if, I just remember it was my story. They were talking and they were saying, they were describing all my symptoms. The Attacking Anxiety tapes were self-paced and they were so great because they had people that 
sounded like me. At one point, I, I was suicidal. I was so overwhelmed, I just couldn't take it anymore. I felt very distressed, and everyone has their opinion on what you should do. Um, they say, you know, you're, she's not getting better with the doctors that you have. You need to go here, you need to go there. And everywhere that I took her, they said, your doctor is doing exactly the right treatment. There is nothing else to do. We saw the program and figured, you know, we'll give it a shot. We got it in the mail, and it was amazing. I felt so not alone. I wasn't alone anymore. I had answers for the first time in years. Are you a what-if thinker? Well, what if you could use the same type of thinking to change your life for the better? What if you got rid of your fear and anxiety for good? What if you could enjoy life like never before? What if you became more confident, less angry, and more at peace with yourself than you ever dreamed? What if you weren't afraid of change and taking a chance? What if you were feeling confident that you could take care of yourself no matter what? Changing the course of your thoughts with the new Attacking Anxiety and Depression program may change the course of your life forever. I had always thought, well, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm never going to be responsible. I'm never going to be secure. I'll always worry. I'll be 